Today we're at Clemson University and I'm gonna teach a stranger how to backflip. Yo, would you be interested in learning how to backflip today? I would not. I'm gonna say no. Oh, not today. Maybe later. Aw oh, dude, it's gotta be a confident yes. If it's not a confident yes, they're gonna give up so fast. I need someone to dedicate a good like 30 minutes to this because those are the people that are gonna get it. Yo, would any of you guys wanna learn how to do a backflip today? If you would've got me like on a Tuesday, maybe. Dang, you look pretty interested. I kinda do. I coach parkour professionally, really? and I've taught like hundreds of people how to do backflips. I'm a little scared of uh, landing on my head. Yeah, I would spot you. Like there's a 0% chance you'd land on your head. <laughs> okay, okay, clearly not everything went to plan today, but before you write me off as an awful coach, let me show you how we got to this point. What's your name? Jason. Jason, roll it. Nice, nice to meet you, you Jason. Rolling. You're pretty warmed up already, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, bet. Cool. Since Jason here was still fresh from soccer practice, I quickly set up the mat so we could get straight into step one, the jump. Can I just see you jump to start? Just like how big you can jump. Oh okay, yeah, that looks super solid. The only thing I want you to fix with that now is swinging your arms all the way up. Yeah, dude, that's perfect. Yeah. Do one more of this. Sweet. So we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna try to jump to our back on here now. Nice. Push your hips up even more. You kind of hit your butt and then you hit your back. Yeah, there you go. That was way better. So I'm going to get in and kind of spot you now. We're not going to do the full flip or anything. You're going to do that same jump, but I'm going to be standing behind you acting as the mat. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the same thing. You're just going to like, yeah. So you're going to jump up. I'm going to catch you and put you back down. Same exact thing you've been doing. Okay. Yeah, big jump. Awesome. Just like that. Even more like commit to the back flop. Yeah, there you go. That was really good. The next step to this is we're gonna learn how to tuck. So pushing your hips up starts your rotation. To speed that rotation up, you're gonna grab a tuck. So you can lay down on like the mat right here and then you bring your knees to your shoulders. Yep, and try to squeeze in as tight as you can. I'm gonna try to pull against you so you can see how tight you need to pull. Keep squeezing. You feel that? Yeah. Sweet. We're only about five minutes in now and Jason has got the jump and the tuck down. So it was time to introduce him to step number two the flip. Essentially what I'm gonna do is that same thing. If you tuck at the right time, you'll just flip over my shoulder. If you do it at the wrong time for whatever reason, you're just gonna kinda get stuck and I'll put you back down on your feet like we already did. Okay, here we go. Let's go! Dude, that was so good! Alright, do, do I just like send it? Just... Dude, well, no, <laughs> we're gonna do a couple more spots before you just send it. I'm ready! <laughs> that was a really good first one though. Dude, you are crushing it, Jason. I was born for this. <laughs> Dude, you were born for this. Oh. <laughs> oh. Dude, that was so good. We're gonna change how I spot you a bit. So it'll feel more like you're doing it on your own. And worst case scenario for any of this stuff, hold your tuck. If you're in a ball, it's easier to like catch you and like put you on your back or your side. Oh, dude, he's got it. He's got it for sure. If you were good in like one or two more, we could take the top mat away. Okay, okay. Oh, oh like right at the he's end. got it. All right, are you good taking the top mat away? Yeah, yeah. Okay, dope, yeah, let's do it. How long has this been, like maybe 10 minutes? Dude, you might be the fastest person I've ever taught how to backflip. Wow. My record right now is like 15 minutes. Really, okay, well, let's speed this up. Let's keep it going, let's keep it going. <laughs> You're really good at teaching this. Thank you, I appreciate that. Oh, you're right there. You're not like pushing up at all, like? No. Not really? Dang. Oh. Do you need a breather at all? No, no. I'm okay, not. you're good? Dude, this man's an athlete. I've I'm, I'm been, I'm been cooking over there. <laughs> oh my gosh! Dude, that was it. I'm gonna lean off on like how aggressively I'm spotting you, then you'll really feel that it's like you doing it. Okay, okay. Oh. That literally is 100% you. Wow, okay. All right. <sighs> Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Did you hit the top of your head a bit? Or do you uh, mostly make it over? No, I mostly made it over. I'm okay. Good. In the moment, this freaked me out really bad, but somehow Jason walked it off like it didn't even happen. Literally 10 seconds later, Jason walks back over to me as if he's about to do another backflip, and I had to tell him to take a rest. Hold on, catch your breath for a second after that one. Make sure you're chilling. Do you want any water or anything? No, I'm good. I got extra water if you need it. <laughs> After I made sure Jason was all good, he was eager to get right back into it. All right, I'll get in a little heavier on the spot again, just in case. Oh, dude, that one was way faster. It felt like Jason was getting closer and closer with literally every single attempt until he got his closest attempt so far. I can feel this one. Oh! You only put one hand down that time. It was closer. Yeah. After about 10 more minutes of back-to-back -back attempts, I could tell Jason was getting really tired. So we gave it one final attempt for the day. 
All right, I'm gonna call this my last attempt. All right, lock in on this one, Jason. Everything you got. Oh. Oh. I'll get there. I'll dude, get there. you made so much progress today. Nice job, Thank dude. Thank you so much. Dude, absolutely. Thanks for trying it. Dude, we were so close on that one. Hey, that was the first one of the day, though, and we got, we got that close. All right, time to stack these back up. Ugh. Yo, any of you guys want to learn a backflip today? I'm all right. Thank you. You're good? Rip one right here. I didn't rip one right here. That's holy shit. That's Bro, one guy was considering it. Do you want to learn how to backflip today? Nah, bro. Dang. I think I'm good. Dude. I'll pass. I was exhausted after teaching them. That's the only downside to like teaching adults is they weigh so much. When I coach kids, dude, it's so easy to throw like an 80 pound kid over your shoulder, but throwing guys that weigh more than me, that's hard. Yo, would any of you guys want to learn how to backflip today? Nah. You're too scared? I've taught like hundreds of people how to backflip. Maybe next time, all right. I'm like actually shocked how many people are like straight up saying no and not even considering it. No, I for sure thought a bunch of people would be like gassed up. You changed your minds? No way. These next two guys here are Mason and Jack. And just like our new friend Jason, I took these guys through the same progression steps. We did the warm up jumps. We did the back flop. Oh, <laughs> you gotta jump back just a little bit. Nice, yeah, that was awesome. I picked them up, I put them down, and finally, it was time to do the flip. And based on their first attempts, I knew these boys had potential. Oh, dude, 100% you're getting it today, Jack. We continued with back-to-back -back attempts until they both got more comfortable with the flip. And pretty quickly, I noticed I wasn't actually doing much to help them anymore, so I decided it was time to change up how I was spotting them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm actually gonna change how I'm okay. spotting you now. Gotcha. With this new spotting position, I still get to oh. be there as a safety line, but I'm able to give them oh, less okay. assistance and allow them to feel more oh. what it's like to do the flip on their own. <laughs> At this point, Mason was starting to peak in his progression for the day, but Jack was getting so confident that he told me this. I, I think I should try one by myself. Okay, yeah. let me pinch your shirt one more time yeah. for the first one, mm -hmm. and then we'll do one without me touching you. I'll still be here, yep. but I'll have like a little less support. Nice. Do you feel comfortable trying it on your own? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm going to not touch his shirt this time. <laughs> that was all him. Right in the Dude. Dude. Now that Jack had conquered both the physical and oh. mental aspect of the backflip, I was fully convinced he was going to land one today. But then yeah. this attempt happened. Dang. Are you feeling tired? I'm getting a little tired. Okay, you're looking yeah. a little tired now. Yeah. I think I might have reached my limit. You made a ton of progress. You guys crushed it. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. It was nice meeting you guys today. Dude, so close again on that. From like the first one or two spots, I was so confident that Jack was going to get it. All right, let's find one more. So we continued on our noble quest to get a stranger to land their first backflip. And after many more rejections, we found Chloe. What do you, you guys want to learn how to backflip today? Oh, that's something more than me. I guarantee you I won't be able to. What do you want to try? Sure. Okay. As you can see, Chloe was very confident that she wasn't going to learn how to backflip. And to be brutally honest, she was right. Being able to learn a backflip on flat ground in one day is quite the feat. Not only do you have to be physically strong, but mentally you have to be very confident. That's why I was purposely cherry picking people who looked very athletic. This way I knew that strength wasn't going to be a limiting factor, and anyone who was willing to say yes to learning a backflip from a complete stranger probably had just the right amount of stupid to not have any of the mental blocks. However, I do think Chloe is more than capable of learning how to backflip. Just not like this. But like this. With the trampoline, you eliminate the need to have super strong legs. And with soft mats and a good coach, you get to safely push through mental blocks at your own pace. Whether that's in one day or over several months, I think almost anyone can learn how to backflip. All right, thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Let's get back to the video. We worked with Chloe for about 10 minutes total, and she definitely made some good progress throughout the session, but we both knew that with the limited equipment we had, she wasn't going to make much more progress today, so we decided to call it there. Oh, that one was so good. Thanks. Dude, nice job. Thanks for joining today. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for teaching. Oh, yeah. Have a great rest of your guys' day. I've now taught four different people how to do a backflip, but I still feel unsatisfied with my goal of teaching someone to land their first backflip. So we decided to ask one more person. Yo, would either of you guys want to learn how to do a backflip today? Okay, clearly these guys weren't interested, but we did find one more person. Yo, would you want to learn how to backflip today? How much time will it take? 
I mean, it depends. You'd probably get tired by like 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, you're down? Sure. Dope. What was your name? JD. JD? Roland, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. How much time do you have? Like 10.15. 10.15? All right, we can speed run this. And we really did speed run this. You guys already know the drill at this point, but it kind of felt yeah. like JD did too yeah, because he learned. flew through the progression steps. And after his first couple of nice. flips, I was getting really excited. Oh, oh my gosh, are you good? Yeah, I'm chilling. He flew all the way behind the mat. Oh, that was way better. Yeah, there you go. Dude, he has like the height and the flip. If we can just get the timing a little better, you're gonna get it so fast. Oh, that was it. I'm gonna change how I'm spotting you now. Okay. This way it's gonna feel more like you're doing it on your own. Ooh. That was like a perfect backflip. I say, if you're comfortable, can we move the top mat away? Yeah. Sweet. Nice. How does it feel to you? It definitely feels like I'm letting go too early. Okay. Um, if you can feel that then, try to focus on it and hold on a little longer. Okay. Oh! Bro, I didn't do anything. You're right there. Dude, I think we're gonna get this today. Oh! He barely scraped his fingers. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was super good. I'd say if you're comfortable, let's do like one or two more like this and then would you want to take the mat away? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, that's it. Do you want to try one without the mat? Sure. I'm gonna spot you a little harder just in case, but try to do exactly what you were doing. Oh, dude. Even without the tuck, that was so much more effortless. Did that feel good? Yeah. Dope. Oh, dude. I'm doing like maybe a little bit, but that's just me like worrying. Okay, that time I really didn't do anything. So that, that felt good? Yeah. You were ready for the ground? Yeah. Dope. Oh! Do you feel comfortable if I don't grab your shirt now and I just kind of like have my arm there in case? Yeah. Dude, JD's so confident, it's wild. <laughs> oh, that was good. How are your legs feeling? Yesterday was leg day. Dang, <laughs> so they're sore today. Yeah. Oh! Dude, that was it. I'm not doing anything on these. Now that JD landed his first backflip, the only thing left to do was remove myself so that he could do it all on his own. But as I was easing off the spot, fatigue kicked in for the fifth and final time today. Oh, yeah, I think you're gainering it a bit. Dude, nice job today. Thank you. That was sick. Thanks, man. Dude, of course. Thanks for helping us out today and trying this. Dude, part of me like doesn't feel fulfilled, but like also that was a W. Like, dude, he had that. That was the first person to do it on grass today. Yeah. And like, I don't feel like I helped him at all on those. I'm gonna consider today a win. Maybe we'll do this another day. Hey, leave a comment if you wanna see us do this one more time and uh, actually get someone to do it with no spot.